All right, good morning. I want to uh, just talk uh, to the charts here a little bit. Uh, we've now had a big sell-off. I want to kind of show it from the small time frame all the way uh, back to the longer time frame just to kind of give you a view of where we are. Here's a 10-minute chart uh, showing today's action. Again, 8.63 was the day's high here right around midnight, and we're trading 8.33 here at 10.22 on the West Coast. Uh, you can see very, cl very clearly there's been no buying today. And uh, we've said all morning, if you didn't come in short, you're going to miss the bulk of this move. And uh, again, we're already off 40 points from Friday's highs, or about 5%. So I would expect a rally back here, somewhere 20 points. If you can get up to that 850 level over the next day or two, I'd be a big seller again. That's where you'd want to be back to the short side. And really, your upside is protected by the high of 872, 873. So I think you can short away. There's a lot of stocks now that are setting up on the short side. Uh, I said last week, all week, that the market, although we went to a new high, felt so heavy, felt uh, we were selling calls all week, and uh, that turned out to be the right trade. Uh, as far as day trading, there's really nothing to do today. Uh, we've done nothing, and, and uh, again, the swing trade is is on and in the books. But uh, again, let's take this chart out a little bit further. We'll do this is a one-day chart. Let's go to a two-day, just so you can see how we uh, pr price these uh, time frames. Two-day goes back to Sunday. Again, you're not seeing too much difference there. Uh, the Sunday high is in. But if you take it to five days, you'll see the high from Friday. Here at uh, 871, and again, that shows um, you know a pullback 872 all the way here to 832 or 40 points, as we just said. Uh, a pullback here would get you, uh, you know, you'd want to be selling to this 856 area. I don't think you'll have a shot in hell of seeing that today. But uh, again, again, if you saw that today, I'd be a seller on a day trade level. Really, any rallies 850 and higher, I'd be a seller. But I doubt you'll see any of these. If you take it back uh, to a 10-day chart to a, a to the previous low, and I always like to do this, you'll see the low here of 825 to the high of 871. Again, a 61 um, 8 retrace line uh, for that move is going to be somewhere in this area. So you start to see some different uh, some, some different timelines um, on the moves here. You'd like to see a retrace, uh, uh, you know, anywhere up into that area. But this to me, now that we've broken through all these levels, uh, I want to take it to the 20. 20-day period, and you can start to see some bigger FIB moves here from the 20-day. Uh, the 20-day here from uh, from uh, from this area, from from uh, 775 up to the uh, 877, again projects back to this 812. So I, I would guess we'll probably see a test of this 812 maybe before we bounce now. Now that we're below all these levels, 832, 825 next, and then 812. But the bigger FIB area for the 20-day chart now show some support here at 812. Now if you take it to the 30 day, and this is why you want to look at all these uh, areas to see where you'll probably see some levels. The 30 day shows a low of 746 to a high of 871, shows a retrace back to the 794. Again, you see these numbers here playing out. I've already drawn the numbers. So 7, 812, so you basically have 832 is where we are now. You're looking at 825. 812, 794, these are all going to be layers that uh, will show some uh, support on the bottom here. Some, uh, and then if you go to the 60-day 60 60 day chart, which goes back to the low of the year of 661, again, draw that 7, 661 to 871, shows you a deeper pullback here in the 741 range. So 741 ultimately might be your goal now that we have broken down. Um, Again, all the you know any rallies up to 850 would get you a nice entry if you drew a line all the way up here. This line, uh, you'd probably see a nice uh, breakdown uh, if you just drew the bottom. I could do that real here, real quickly here, but you would see a nice breakdown of these um, of this recent move from 775 all the way up. I mean, I'm going to have to do it on a 20-minute chart here, but basically you'd see that uh, we have broken down very, very clearly. If you drew it, I'm going to draw a line from this low of 775 all the way up through these areas. And again, you'll see that 855 area 
again now that we've broken under that we'll probably come back and test that line 850 to 860 you want to be short in size up in there on any bounces if you weren't short coming into today I wouldn't recommend necessarily shorting right here at 833 I'd wait for some type of rally at least up into that area to put it back on uh, if you miss that high on Friday as we suggested to our members to sell in calls uh, then you've missed the the, the big 5% move of the trade and you take the profit on those but again going back to the 60 minute chart the bigger term chart is, is again I think we'll at least see a test of the 740 area over the next few weeks now that earnings are kind of playing out everything's out there so somewhere in this area if I were to draw a, uh, a, a little a little oval here um, it's going to probably, I, I think ultimately we're going to come back to the 740 level. So you may see a bounce up to that 840, 850. Sell calls, sell premium, however you want to do this. But I think you'll probably see a pullback to this area as each level breaks down, as, as, as I just went through there in the 60-day chart. Again, 660, 772, or 872 looks like the high for now, unless that ta is taken out. You're going to want to play to the short side after uh, three solid weeks of uh, running up here from the March 7th time frame to the uh, April 20th. Now that uh, earnings are pretty much done, uh, you're going to see a, probably a, a pullback and test into this area, I would, I would suggest, over the next few weeks. So play accordingly. The easy money has been made to the upside. You got all the chasers. You had all the penny stocks, Crocs, Jamba Juice. Krispy Kreme, all the crud was running, even Sirius had ran from $0.08 cents up to $0.50. Cents. So all the easy money has been made, and uh, all those that bought the stocks down there are going to get tagged now, and that's the way the game works. And that's why I did not want to be buying over the last couple weeks. It felt very heavy to me, and, and again, nothing has changed on the economy. It was nothing but a bear market rally, and now we're back to reality, and, and now it's going to be a lot uh, more difficult. You're going to have to show some uh, provings here. So... That's it. Look for this 840. We'll be back later. Hope you have a great trading week, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.